Hello everyone. My name is Dada Sara Igizewi and I live in Quebec. Uh, when my friends here ask me how is it like to live in Tripoli, the first thing comes to mind that women are very free under the leadership of uh, Muammar Gaddafi. Um, the government really doesn't oppose anything on anybody. You can wear what you want. Women can travel without any permission from your dad or your husband or any male figure in the family. Um, I consider that a privilege for a Middle Eastern woman when I compare myself to uh, my sisters in Saudi Arabia and the pain and the torture they're going through sometimes just because they're dri driving a car or dating someone they love or not wearing the, uh, the Muslim outfit, uh, I mean by that hijab, which is very, very private choice, and it's totally up to the woman if she wants to wear it or not, in my humble opinion. Uh, next things come to mind about my leader, Mamar Gaddafi, uh, is the man-made river, which was a great, a great, great miracle in my country that it's most of a desert and we don't have water. And he managed to get the water out of the desert and spread it all over Libya so we can have good water so our food would taste better. Second thing, I'll try to be as brief as I can. Uh, when the revolution in 1969 happened, uh, the first thing Gaddafi says that rent is a, is a very, very terrible thing for families. So, and having a house, owning a house, it's a basic human right, and nobody has to pay a rent. Uh, my dad never paid a rent. We stayed in our house, our own house, because we have a house, and it's our right as human being. Uh, second of all, I would talk about the charities that Gaddafi has. Um, millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, I have no records of it, but I'm aware of it, and I'm uh, a member of it because I really want to know what's going on. Uh, the money that goes to the Africans, goes to poor Asians, uh, goes to mostly Africa that breaks my heart when kids and babies starve to death and Gaddafi is there and there's rec records to, to prove it. Um, education. Um, I went, education is free for everybody even if you're a foreign. Uh, you can go to school for free until you get your PhD or honor chair, PhD. You can go as far as you want and you don't pay a penny except your pencils and notebooks and they're still uh, supported by the government. Basically you pay a fraction of the real price and that's applied to the food, applied to the supply, uh, to the cars um, and all necessary things in life. Um, that's all I have to say about my leader because I, uh, I hear the media and uh, I'm in Quebec as I've mentioned and these things are not mentioned. All I hear that he's a dictator. Talking about dictator, uh, dictatorship, um, I wish anybody can name me any Arabic president that he's not a dictator or they did not kill anybody. Um, Gaddafi was against radicals and we are targeted by them. We are targeted by Osama bin Laden because we do not practice Sharia in Libya. And that's war against terrorism and Gaddafi started that war way before George Bush. Um, I just felt like I had to point this out because the world has no idea about what's going on in my home. Thank you and have a good day.